The next thing that you want to do is set up an eBay store. An eBay store will save you money in the long term when it comes to listing items. Reason being is there is a fee every time you list an item. However, having a store will allow you to list a set number of items without a listing fee. So if you would like to set up a store, go over to your name and then click on account settings. So you'll see your name on the top left hand corner of the screen over here. Once you have clicked onto account settings on the left hand side of the screen over here, you can see a section where it says subscriptions. Go ahead and click on subscriptions. Here is where you will be selecting your store. So let's have a look at what different stores are available and I'll explain to you what you need to choose. So first of all, select choose a store. Now at the moment, it's going to show you a various different stores. So there's this one over here, which is $4.95 a month. There's the basic store, which is $21.95 a month. The premium, $59.95. Anchor, $299.95. And then there's the enterprise store, which is $299.95 per month. Now, we don't need any of these stores at the moment. The one that we're going to be going for is the basic store. So let me explain to you how this works so the monthly subscription will cost you $27.95 however if you pay for it yearly it'll be $21.95 however I recommend that you only have it for a, a monthly subscription at this stage because you will be upgrading to the premium store over the next couple of months or so so what this actually gives you is free fixed price insertions so what does that basically means what this basically means is you can now list up to 250 items onto your store. Now remember this is separate from your selling limits. The selling limits are completely separate to a store. Just because you have a basic store that allows you to list up to 250 items, it doesn't automatically mean that you will qualify for 250 items. Those two operate separately. What this basically tells you is that you can list up to 250 items every single month or have 250 active items onto your store every single month and you are not going to pay a listing fee. Because you see, additional fixed price insertion fees normally cost 30 cents, right? However, the first 250 will be free with this store and then anything more than that will be 25 cents per item additional auction insertion fee we can ignore that because we're not going to be listing any items for auction and the final value fee is anything between three and a half and twelve percent so the final value fee basically once you sell an item you are charged a fee by ebay and you will pay that via an invoice so what that basically means is a lot of the most of the ebay fees they are actually paid via invoice the paypal fees get deducted immediately so when someone pays you paypal will automatically deduct their fee and then you'll have funds available to you but with ebay it's different with ebay they add your fees up via an invoice and then you're charged once a month so you're not going to be paying anything today once you are setting up the basic store but then you will get an invoice a month later and that will also include any sales that you have made so remember, you can have up to 250 active items. What that basically means is at any one given time, you can have up to 250 fixed price listings onto your store and you're not going to get charged anything additional for that. If you add more items, then you'll be charged a fee of 25 cents. Some of the other features, you can have a read through them if you wish to do so. There is one thing called Selling Manager Pro, which costs $15.99 a month. I wouldn't recommend that you take out Selling Manager Pro at this stage because eventually once you upgrade to a premium store, you will get Selling Manager Pro for free anyway. So to get this set up, you just scroll down and then click Select and Review. And then you choose whether you want the yearly plan or the monthly plan at this stage. Again, I recommend that you select the monthly plan and then enter your store name, what you want your store name to be, and then click Submit Order. And by clicking on Submit Order, you will now then be subscribed to a basic store immediately. And then if you go back to your seller hub and you look at the promotional offer section, you will be able to see that you will have a basic store. Now on this account over here, I don't have a basic store. However, once you have subscribed to the basic store, you will see that you will be able to list up to 250 items at no extra cost. So you want to be maximizing that this month. And I'm going to be showing you how to find the most effective items to be listing onto your store and maximizing the opportunities. But remember, at this stage, the primary thing is to get your business going. And over the next three months or so is trying to escalate your business as much as you can. And then really learning the platform making it work as good as possible for you. And it's as simple as that to set up a store. Let's go over to the next video.